All right, folks, for today's Camper Clinic 2 service tip, we're going to discuss winterization a little bit. The first and most important thing is on the back of this water heater, there's a bypass valve. That needs to be closed. After closing that bypass valve on the back of the unit, or each unit is, is specific depending on the floor plan and the type of trailer. So the things that I tell you, it may vary a little bit. If you have any questions, Contact us at the website Camper Clinic 2. We also offer this manual uh, that may be helpful to you. We'd be more than happy to send it to you. So I'm going to discuss this particular unit, but keep in mind that the things in your unit may be a little bit different, but the procedure is pretty well the same. So moving right along, in the back of this unit, it has a couple of low point drains right here. This red and the white. Red is obviously the hot water side, white's the cold water side. After shutting the bypass on the water heater, you need to close, you need to open the drains on the low point. Then you need to come along and go throughout the RV and open faucets in order to allow it to get air to drain the water out of the low point drains. After doing that, you need to come and there's a couple of different features. They're blowout plugs. They, it needs to be installed right here in your fresh water connection. You apply about 25 pounds of air pressure. You go in, that allows all that water to be blown out of all the faucets. It's real critical while you have air pressure on this that you flush the toilet. The little plastic valve in the toilet is notorious for freezing, so make sure you protect that. After doing that, there's a plug in the bottom of the water heater right here. This plug needs to be removed. When you remove that, you release the pop-off valve, allowing air to get in here. Remember that we close the bypass so no air is going to come through the water lines, nor is the air pressure that you put in the blowout preventer. Uh, blowout plug gonna leak into the water heater uh, after that is done that pretty well sums up the short and sweet of getting the water out of the unit you need to go in and put some antifreeze in the fresh water tank the holding tanks and all the sink p traps whether it's the lavatory or the sink now that concludes the plumbing of the rv other than you have to keep in mind that the fresh water tank when you right here is where you fill the fresh water tank on this unit if that has any water in it, it needs to be drained out under the bottom. You can't see it on this unit, but underneath the coach, there'll be a manual valve or a cap where you can release it and then drain the water out of this tank. I would do that prior to putting that antifreeze in there or you'll waste the antifreeze. Uh, please feel free to contact us, camperclinic2.com. Remember we have the little guide. Remember we sell parts online. We can get you all this stuff shipped directly to your house. Uh, Thank you for your time, and we'll see you another time. The more you know about RVs, Camper Clinic, the better we look.